Good morning, day two of our Illinois County cash run. Here we are back in Southern Illinois. We spent the night in Perryville, Missouri. We jumped back over the bridge, back over the Mississippi, back to Illinois, into Chester, Illinois. And we're starting off with a adventure lab here in Chester, which is the birthplace of Popeye the Sailor. One of my other favorite Popeye characters was Wimpy, who would gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Take my money now. You know I love little dogs. But was it Bluto or was it Brutus? When I was a kid, I remember Bluto. But then you watch the other ones, you hear Brutus. So I'm confused. Which one was it? You call him Bluto or Brutus? The other great thing about cashing here in Chester is this is county number 10. Ooh, it's my peppy. Hey. Let's talk about road trips a little bit and the planning that goes into them. Trying to make this something like this, like a, a 10, 11 county run, Southern Illinois. Well, that's just no easy task. You just don't throw darts at a map and see what sticks. You gotta do a little research, find the best route. Are the caches there? Are there any interesting icons or favorite point caches that you wanna get when you're on your way? So for this trip, actually I used a new app for me. I've been a diehard CGO user for basically my entire caching career. Not a fan of the geocaching official app. I don't have an iPhone, so I can't use Cashly. So it's been CGO, CGO, CGO forever. Well then on the GCPC, the geocaching podcast, I listened to an episode about GeoGo. G-E-O-O-H, Go. And I have to admit, I tried using the app some years ago uh, before the app was completely taken down and rebuilt. And after listening to that episode on GCPC, I downloaded it again. What's really neat about that app is if you are a subscriber, to their uh, premium package for 99 cents every six months. You can download any KML file or map overlay. And one of them is the county boundaries. And that was really helpful for getting all these counties figured out which cache is actually in which county, especially with the new county map uh, boundaries when they were remade. You don't want to pick a cache that's like on the border. It might be there, it might not be, it might be the adjacent county. And you don't want to find that out when you get back home. So this was really helpful. And then as you find that cache, it lights up that county. Now, how cool is that? Not only can you light up that county, but now on top of that, you are able to um, pick a route out of all the caches, after you've done all this legwork, now, what's the best way to get there? And I haven't been successful with uh, Cache Tour. I really wish I would take the time to learn that a little bit, but I haven't been very successful with it. So if anybody can help me out, please comment below, contact me, that'd be great. But GeoGo, I was able to 
pick all the caches that I wanted, and it built a route for me, optimized. Fantastic. So if you have the opportunity, check out GeoGo. It's been a lot of fun for me, really helped me out. I still use CGO. I'm not 100% convinced yet, but it's been fun so far. So check it out on the Google Play Store, Android only, GeoGo. So if you come to Chester and you do the Adventure Labs, make sure you try to do them all at the same time. There's three Adventure Labs here, but there's also two multis that a lot of the stops are the same as the Adventure Stops. So make sure you get all that information. Now we've made it to St. Clair County and at the last Adventure Lab stop and also the 11th and final county for DJ PD. And it's not gonna be a layup either. We're at a tank cache. Bingo. That's eight, 11 for the trip, St. Clair. That's it. You just found a cache in yeah. every county and a path tag. And a path tag. And a Boy. path tag. It was meant to be. What? What? It what? It was meant yep. to that just happened. favorite things ever. You found a cache now in every county in the state of Illinois. One Doesn't, state down. Where are you going next? <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> Next stop on our trip brought us to Alton, Illinois. And the reason we came here is we came to see the world's tallest man, Robert Wadlow, who was eight foot 11. That's like double me. Look how big his gravestone is compared to everybody else's. Not to mention, next door here, other family members, this is like your normal height of a, of a grave or length of a grave but look about I mean I'm standing at the end of it huge one of the harder counties to get on this trip has been Calhoun County way on the western edge of Illinois there's really only a couple of ways across we came across a bridge on the way in, in Hardin, but on the way out through Campsville, we get to take a ferry. Now that was a fun road trip. To be able to get all those counties in Southern Illinois, to get a GeoArt, to meet a CO, to go across the Illinois River on a ferry boat. And best of all, I got to do it with my two best geocaching buds. We always have such a great time on our road trips and sharing tons of laughs and a lot of jokes, a lot of ribbing at each other. It's always a great time with those two. Thank goodness we had a good plan in place to get those all done because trying to get all those counties is no easy task. So plan wisely if you plan to come down there, especially to get to Calhoun County. That was no easy task to get in and out of there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along on the adventure. If you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also hit that little bell too. That way you can be aware of the next time I drop a new adventure. Thanks for coming along. Until then, we'll see you on the trails.